high. So normally when I record these videos, I would have like a script that I've written out on what to talk about. But I think I've just realized that some games just aren't worth the effort. For instance, Ma what's this fucking called? <laughs> For instance, Garfield Kart Furious Racing. This game is obviously a blatant ripoff of Crash Nitro Kart. Everyone's favorite kart game that they played on the N-Gage or the Zebo. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's obviously Mario Kart. Everything about this game is a ripoff of Mario Kart. From the items, to the way it starts, to the character animations. It's pretty sad. And I guess I understand the concept. If you own an Xbox or a PlayStation or whatever and you really, really want to play Mario Kart, but you can't for whatever reason, and you're not somebody who's going to like figure out a way to emulate it or some shit like that, I guess this is a good alternative. But as a standalone game, it's a big steaming pile of shit. To start off with, I'm not sure why they picked Garfield as the universe to set this kart racing game. I can only name three characters off the top of my head from Garfield, and that's only because I watched those horrible live-action Garfield movies with Bill Murray. <laughs> you got Garfield, John, and Odie. That's all I knew of, but apparently there's a whole expanded universe to Garfield that I never knew about. It's all very exciting. So those are the characters that you get to choose from. For instance, you have Garfield, John, you got uh, Liz, apparently John's girlfriend, Arlene, Garfield's girlfriend, uh, somebody named Normal, uh, which is a real character, um, Squeak, which is a mouse. That's fucking wacky, a cat and a mouse being friends. What? And then you got Harry, who's like a homeless cat or something and those are it there's uh eight characters which i guess that's all the characters that they could get from garfield but when you look at something like mario kart 8 like i'll be honest i don't recognize all those characters either when i booted up mario kart 8 i wasn't like oh no fucking way they got ludwig they got ludwig in this game Nah, I don't know who Ludwig is. Um, so that's not what I'm upset about, the fact that they have characters I don't know. It's just that they only have eight, and I still don't know all the characters. Each of the characters in the game has different stat lines, and you can add on different carts, hats, and spoilers to increase their stats in various ways. I guess it augments the gameplay, but frankly I could barely tell a difference at all. Mario Kart does this same thing, but instead of spoilers or hats, it's tires and the gliders. It's just another way this game rips off Mario Kart. Even the name itself is a ripoff. They just went with Garfield Kart. You couldn't come up with something different. Garfield Racing, for instance. The Garfield Pre. I don't know. Just anything other than Kart. But obviously they're trying to make the connection to Mario Kart what they're going for like i said the items are all kind of ripoffs in this game one second i have to google the items garfield kart furious racing items um so garfield kart furious racing is like a a sequel oh my fucking god what i am i am learning a lot right now okay so there was an original Garfield Kart and Furious Racing is the sequel. It was on the 3DS and Steam. But it has all the same characters and looks pretty much the same. Cool. It seems like everybody liked this game because it's like a meme or something. There's nothing on the internet about the items. I'm wasting my goddamn fucking time with this. Um, okay, I'll try and remember. There was a lasagna, which is just a mushroom from Mario Kart. There's a pie, which is either, if it has a little antenna on the top, a red shell. Or, if it doesn't have an antenna, a green shell. But you can also throw it backwards, and it becomes like a banana. I guess that's kind of creative. One of the few things I liked about the game is 
rather than having to do the tremendous task of holding backwards to throw an item backwards you just press a different button that they've mapped for you that's kind of nice I guess they have a spring item I, I don't know what that's about they have like a diamond item but that's just a bomb their version of the blue shell is like this UFO thing but you can avoid it if you drive through the right UFO that's kind of creative I guess oh and the one item that I was like that's legitimately a, a good idea and like a fun idea is there's like a magic wand where you shoot it at somebody and if you hit them you switch places with them so if you're in second place and you hit the person in first place you're suddenly in first place it's like kind of a creative idea like that's kind of fun i think they had another they had some item like a pillow that makes you go to sleep the drifting is the exact same as mario kart when you start the race you can get a boost the exact same way as mario kart all the maps are like forgettable and just the exact same thing basically they have like a puzzle system where in order to explore the map you can try and get these puzzle pieces i don't really know the purpose of it i guess it's just like something to unlock if you're a hardcore Garfield Kart fan. But they're kind of annoying because some of them you have to have a specific item. Most of the time it's the spring to actually get up and, and get the puzzle piece. So that's like kind of frustrating. I tried to play online multiplayer, but nobody was online to play with me. Pretty sad. Um, I don't know. What else? I can't think of anything. Oh, the sound design in this game is probably like the worst sound design I've ever heard in my life. The cart sounds horrible, like it, it hurts your ears to listen to. And it's always making that noise if you're holding the gas. And then when you finish a Grand Prix, all the carts are making that noise at the same time and it's just like a cacophony of noise. And it sounds horrible, but I think they just didn't even bother to fix it because they didn't care. So great job, microids. You guys are knocking it out of the park. And I think that just in general shows the amount of care that they put into the game, which is very little. <laughs> The game ironically has a 9 out of 10 on Steam, but obviously it's just because people think it's funny to review the game really highly even though they, they don't give a shit. I mean, that's kind of obvious. Some classic ironic gamers, am I right? <laughs> there is a spectacular number of knockoff Mario Kart games, such as Race with Ryan or Nickelodeon Kart Racers. But they're all just the same thing, and it's pretty fucking sad. Even just as something that could be dumb fun, this is a pretty bad example of it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have anything else to say. There's no story mode. Multiplayer is dead. Single player is painful to listen to and watch and play. It's a total waste of time. And as much as I love ironic shit posting on the internet, hilarious. I don't think it's worth buying or playing, believe it or not. If anything, this game just gave me depression. Okay. Bye.